Okay, um, everybody knows I'm looking for the red horse still. Um, the Bible actually mentions uh, wars that should take place as nation rises against nation um, in the book of Matthew. Um, and nation shall rise against nation, which is an act of war, which probably is also the red horse that I'm looking for. And that has not happened yet. And there's also supposed to be, along with this, earthquakes and famine earthquakes and famine in ver various places throughout the world um, when these nations rise against nation and of course they're all going to rise against Israel too um, but they they haven't they haven't done that yet um, but uh, they may rise against each other first and then at the end of it all rise against Israel um, but they are going to uh, take the the Christians and throw them, uh, at least some of them throw them, um, into like camps or something like that. They're going to, they're going to lay their hands on us, which means they're going to, there's going to be cops or something involved. They're going to actually take us up and put us somewhere. So that's why the FEMA camp makes actually a lot of sense. But first there's got to be wars in various places throughout the world and, and famines and earthquakes. Um, and we thought that there was, there was starting, they were starting to go into earthquakes and we thought that, you know, that might be it, but no, because the red horse still hasn't come yet. The red horse is probably when those nations rise against each other. Again, I'm saying that, um, so, uh, I guess keep on the lookout uh, because I know I am, um, I've learned a lot of stuff that I did not know, um, but, uh, I, I just keep looking because I keep seeing more and more, um, and, uh, I'll be doing this probably every day, so.